So today inside this video here, I'm basically just going to be end up showing you guys some tips and tricks with this uh, lovely thing called a uh, C4. And you guys have probably seen me uh, use it all of the time. And uh, yeah, so like I kind of just go like this one. There's like a cop in here. I just up C4 them on the ground if I just go ahead and uh, oof. I'm not going to oof them right now, obviously. But today I'm going to be showing you guys some uh, tips and tricks with this thing. So first of all, uh, you know, how to like actually uh, place it. Like a bunch of people kind of just like aimlessly just spam c4 just like this and like that's not really a good idea you kind of want to try to like aim at the cop and also never ever aim straight down okay? because if you end up aiming straight down as you guys can see i just placed the c4 on myself by complete accident and uh, yeah then they could very easily arrest me if they wanted to whenever you're using c4 never ever go just like this and aim straight down because as you can see just twice i literally got c4 placed on myself so, yeah literally never ever place yeah just never ever look straight down down. Yeah, basically, uh, you know, let's actually, uh, go over to, like, a robbery. Oh, so, yeah, uh, so let's actually go and go into, like, an actual situation here. So let's just say, you know, I'm, like, uh, robbing the jewelry store. Yeah, let me just go in and uh, complete this thing real quick. Alright, so yeah, let's just, uh, you know, show something inside of the jerseys. Yeah, all the ton of cops like to camp right over here. And what I like to do is either scare them to go over here or just action up C4 and them to lasers. I just go and go like this, and I just go and place down some C4. They just have gave themselves four walls over here. I could just, uh, easily, uh, you know, oof down this guy if I wanted to. But yeah, uh, very, very easily could have. Alright, so you know what to say? It's like a bunch of people like to camp on top of here. So you can just go ahead and just place down some C4 and just yeet people off of the jury store. And I'm all the way down here. Thanks, Joe Breed. I still just said that there's kind of yeah, two camp cops trying to camp out the jury store. Let's just uh, go down here. I thought, yeah, let me just go ahead and place down some C4 on the ground. This guy ended up getting themselves a C4 just like this. Oh, yeah, this guy's gonna attempt to do some stuff. Let me just like go just like this here. Let me just like, go just like that. Boop, get yourself C4'd, and yeah, now I'm outside of there. Yeah, you kind of just need to uh, use it like an effectively kind of like that. So obviously, if you just get yourself ejected here, obviously you should probably just place it right away. But uh, yeah, you kind of also need to know, like, because you can see there, like, kind of like I kind of like I kind of just like, got in my vehicle and I'll place down some C4. If you're in an air vehicle, that's not a good idea because you can probably get yourself uh, flung away or a C4 yourself out the vehicle. But, but yeah, like, um, I noticed that she was, uh, you know, kind of coming towards me while I was going to the vehicle. So I just placed it on the ground just so if she tried to go near me, she couldn't get an eject and she would just become ragdolled. But, uh, yeah, you know, you kind of just, uh, I don't really know how to explain it, but you kind of just need to, like, learn how to actually effectively use it. But also, like, another thing is, like, you know, like, um, like, let's just say that, you know, you place an C4 on a guy, and after you realize, oh crap, I don't have ammo here, well, Place another C4 on them, and yeah, then, then they'll be able to get ragged on, and you could just oof them like that. Uh, yeah, like, kind of just, like, point is, you know, like, um, don't, like, go ahead and just, like, when there's a bunch of cops, just don't go ahead and just, like, continue just to spam the C4 over and over again. You kind of need to, like, divvy up whenever you use it, like, use it, like, one time here. Like, I, yeah, like, I just say, just go ahead and just go just like that. And then after that, you know, I go ahead and, like, shoot a little bit here, and then I'll just say, oh, yeah, this guy comes over to me and have a bolt bike, and if I just go ahead and place it on the ground, and he just gets himself c 4 It's also, like, another good thing, okay? Like, um, let's just say I get inside of your vehicle. Alright, so, so let's just, uh, have these guys just drive towards me uh, right now here, and, the, yeah, I'm just gonna end up placing down some C4 on the ground, and as you guys can see, they just went boom, because, uh, yeah, if you if if you realize a cop is going to like attempt to jump out at you, like drive their vehicle to you, that's also another thing. If they're just driving up to you, just just uh just uh, place some C4 on the ground. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Predict their movements. That's another thing too. Good way to put it. Yeah, you kind of just need to predict their movements a lot here, kind of like how I did at the jury store. I predicted that she was gonna try to go after me. I placed some C4 on the ground, and she ended up uh. And I'm getting a rag. Yeah, like a good thing is, you know, you kind of just need to learn how to like actually predict what the cops do. For example, if you know that a bunch of cops are gonna be like, camping on the other side of a wall, place some C4 down. Or, um, oh yeah, like, uh, like uh, if this cop is like gonna like try to like jump out at me in their vehicle, I just go and just place some C4 on the ground and then they just go splat. Yeah, because this guy just ended up going out at me too. I'm just gonna make this guy just go splat and I can just easily oof him if I wanted to. Also, the thing is, you can also very, very easily combine this with the jetpack. But, um, yeah, it's definitely 
is uh, something uh, worth doing. Jetpack is a very, very effective tool with uh, C4 especially. Like, I could just like place some C4 on the ground, I could jetpack right up into the air, and uh, yeah. This way, so I'll just, like, just go and place on some C4 on the ground, I just uh, go up just like this. So like an effective strategy is just to go ahead and just go, just like, just, just like, place some C4 on somewhere, so just go, just go like that, which is the foot walk here, place on some C4 and go right back up into the air. Yeah, the, also another thing about forest field. C4 and forest fields is definitely a very, very good way to uh, combat this thing. So what to say is someone's inside of a force field here. Yeah, I'm listening for jump So basically the book like this and I think you just want to start parachuting and I think you just want to go ahead Place some C4 direct down to the ground and then boop, and I think you just could just like uh, oof the coppers like that. And uh, yeah, a lot of C4 just has to do with like uh, trying to predict what your opponent is going to do. See, um, also another thing is, you know, as you guys can see, I am very well using up C4 very, very quickly. So yeah, how you can get yourself more than 10 C4? Well, first of all, let me get myself 10 C4. Let me drop my C4 on the ground. And then after that, go ahead and equip yourself another piece of C4. And then drop it on the ground. And after that, you need to click this thing to refresh it, and then buy yourself some more C4, and then drop it on the ground. And after that, you just go and pick up all the C4 that you dropped on the ground, and then move. As you can see, I have 10 out of 20 C4. The UI is broken, but basically, those two numbers added together is how much C4 you actually have. Pretty useful trick if you end up using C4 a lot like me. Just like uh, this here, and um, and yeah, and, and you don't want to go to the gun store every single five seconds to so refill on some C4. All right, so, so basically, uh, you know, if you want to camp a criminal's trying to that you know has your vehicle here, if it's an air vehicle, it only will work on air vehicles. Someone can just play some C4 just like that. And I'm all the way over here. Can you guys going to end up uh, detonating the C4 once I go right into my vehicle? And then, boop, I end up getting myself flung outside of my vehicle here. I just am going to play for some C4 on the ground. Flinging. Oh yeah, that's also another thing that you guys can actually uh, do here. Oh, this guy just flung my vehicle. It's actually very, very useful just to, uh, you know, uh, go onto your opponent's vehicle real quick and then just uh, play some C4 on their vehicle and just uh, fling them away. And then, yeah, you, then you can just go for your own vehicle. Also, another thing is, like, if you know there's, like, a bunch of cops going Going after you, like there's like five in like one spot, J just to place some C4 on the ground onto all of them and then they'll just all go uh, splat. Very very useful against stuff like uh, tasers too. Cause like if you know like a cop's about to tase you, can just go and place some C4 on the ground and after they will tase you and then they will get c 4 and you can just go and uh, So I'm actually going to show you this trick that I showed off recently. Uh, basically if you're not placing a C4 on yourself, you just go and go just like this after I uh, look at the ground here. And then after that, uh, you know. If you place a C4 on your feet, and, I, and then, uh, yeah, you can just end up actually spawning your vehicle in mid -air just like that. I made a video on it a, uh, couple days ago if you just want to check it out. Uh, I'm not going to touch on it too much since that video exists, but, uh, yeah. Very, very useful trick. So if you actually end up placing a C4 after you get inside of it, and after you go just like this, oh uh, yeah, basically you end up getting yourself a boost just like that. The C4 basically acts as a um, little uh, boost on your vehicles, just like that, as you guys can see. So yeah, if you ever end up needing to do that really, really quickly, you can do that. Also, if you're actually inside of a passenger seat of a vehicle, you can actually use this pretty effectively to uh, get yourself uh, to basically a uh, fling, or uh, give your um, give the person driving a um, yeah, speed boost and stuff. But now I'm going to show you guys the C4 dog trick. Very, very infamous. So, we place it right onto the dog here, and basically, what you want to do is you just want to shoot down your cop uh, one time. I think this dog will go all the way up to the police officer, and you just want to explode your C4, and then boom, they go down. They have to get themselves C4, and I could just oof them just like that. Pretty useful trick, because dogs deal damage themselves. Yeah, so if I place down a C4 here, after I just go ahead and go just like this, after I go ahead and just go like that, boop, there you go, he just got themselves C4. <laughs> A very very useful trick though the problem is if you have a C4 placed on the dog and you basically get yourself inside of a vehicle they don't go on top of the vehicle instead they go just like this like let me try to get my dog far away from here all right so the uh, dog is going all the way let me just get myself a vehicle as you can see this dog is like so far away yeah, this actually makes it so, you know, like, currently since this dog is running into the building, I literally cannot, uh, move. Because, yeah, the dog is kind of acts like a part of your vehicle hitbox. Which is why I don't really use this trick that much. But, yeah, the trick would probably also just be, you know, then hit the C4 on the dog. This definitely could be uh, a very, very uh, useful trick. Oh, yeah, also another thing about C4. Someone place the C4 on me after they go ahead and detonate it while I am jetpacking. As you can see, I literally do not get myself ragged on you. That's a very, very pro 
special trick, especially for police officers more likely. So like another trick I kind of like to use against police officers inside of vehicles. Uh, so like I like, kind of like to do is I kind of like end up like jumping out just like that against a police officer and end up uh, C4ing them outside of a vehicle and then just oofing them like that. Pretty useful trick against police officers in air vehicles. Criminals do. But another thing we should guys is the C4 volt bike. If you go and go onto a volt bike, you have to end up placing some C4 right on the hood of the volt bike. As you can see now, I have myself this a really, really uh, broken volt bike here and then, oh yeah, basically, you know, it has super duper high distance, it goes super duper fast. Tons of people have made videos on this already if you need more of an explanation, but yeah, a uh, pretty uh, useful trick if you want to troll the volt bike. I don't find myself using it too much though, but uh, yeah. Let's now move the museum here. I'm going to show you guys a uh, solo uh, museum. Now, this will only work if you're by yourself. Basically, this is going to be useful if you don't have yourself a jetpack, yeah, but yeah, or and you're in the museum and both the criminals die. So yeah, so basically to do this trick, you need to place yourself a C4 on yourself, like I just said, you need to jump up and then kind of look at the ground, and when and when you are just about to fall back down, you place a C4 on yourself. So what you need to do is you need to uh, start picking up the bag, detonate the C4, jump up and down, and I am just saying I'm going to start picking up, detonate some C4. Uh, okay, basically you want to start picking up the bag, place two C4. Well, well, that worked. I ended up flinging myself out, but I didn't actually pick up the bag, but you, you need to pick up the bag. <laughs> That's kind of a show off right now. I'm just going to show up another clip right now. Let me go and go to this bank here. Let's hope it's actually the right vault. Now I'm inside of here, and I just want to show up this clip on a stream here, and you guys get to see the rest of the C4 stuff. But yeah, basically, if you place a C4 on yourself, and um, yeah, basically, you just want to place it just like, uh, you know, you, like, you see these four lines on the ground, or like, these lines, you just want to place it four from the very edge of that little gap. You place it there, and then uh, you just uh, stand there, you detonate the C4, then you fling yourself across, and then, uh, yeah, in the corner vault, yeah, then you won't be able to get arrested, basically, because cops have a pain to get across. Yeah, pretty useful trick if I say so myself. But that's all the uh, C4 tips and tricks here. We hope you all found this uh, very helpful here, and uh, yeah, and I will uh, see you guys later.